if you think NASA's newest heavy lift rocket couldn't possibly have more problems because they've already had so many problems with the rocket, well, they're having a couple more problems, about 3.2 billion more problems. This is an article that I found online that I will get into in a second, but before I do, let me tell you who I am. My name is Tim. I am your space nerd, your space geek, your space enthusiast, your space host for this space channel, Space Excellent. This article was written by Rich Smith of Motley Fool. Motley Fool is a website that does financial articles. They do market trends and, and stocks and bonds and just all the things that bore the complete life out of me. But I do understand dollars, okay? Uh, this guy, Rich Smith, asks a question, two questions exactly. I would like to get your input on these questions. I'm gonna answer these questions. Comment below and let me know what you think of my answers. Okay, so the first question is, how much is too much to pay for an SLS rocket, number one? Number two, how much is so much that finally NASA or Congress says, mm, that's it? Uh, the second question I think is a bit easier. I don't think there's a limit. It could be $10, 10 billion dollars per rocket. Currently, there's no other rocket that's this big, okay? Currently, there is going to be one very, very soon called Starship, but it's not in production yet. Technically, neither is SLS, but they're, they're, they're saying they're this close to launch. I actually just saw an article before I came here right now saying that the launch of the first SLS is going to be pushed back to summertime, probably. Don't be surprised if that thing gets pushed back until Christmas or wintertime, okay? Just don't be surprised. First question he asked how much is too much to pay for an SLS rocket? I'm gonna say whatever NASA is paying for it right now. <laughs> that's, an easy, that's an easy answer. Whatever the dollar amount is, which by the way, they don't know yet, and they're this close to launching it, which is amazing. Uh, however much that dollar amount is, just stop, just stop. I can't believe that we live in a year, 2022, Happy New Year, where NASA is saying that they're gonna fly the SLS rocket for the next 30 years at the exact same time that SpaceX and Elon Musk are this close to launching a fully reusable rocket that is more powerful than this. The article starts off with the cost of the space shuttle program, just for some history, okay? It says, it was estimated $1.55 billion per space shuttle launch in a total of $209 billion. Now, Space Shuttle for me was a, a really special rocket because I grew up with it. It wasn't my friend or anything, but I grew up going to see Space Shuttle launches because we lived about three hours away from Cape Canaveral. I still live about three hours from Cape Canaveral. I didn't make it very far from home, but I was so excited to drive three hours and see a 30 second rocket launch and then drive back. It's, it's one of the coolest parts of my childhood. If you didn't see it, if you, if you were too young or you just never, never made it to Florida to see a space shuttle launch, you really missed it. It turned night into day and the feeling in your chest, the sound of it, the, the smoke stack going up in the air was truly, truly amazing. It was also very, very dangerous. Um, there were five orbiters and two of them were destroyed. Okay. That's like half the fleet. Imagine half of Delta's fleet just exploding or crashing into the ground. This article talks about the solid rocket boosters specifically, and a company by the name of Northrop Grumman was just awarded contracts to build five sets of boosters for SLS, okay? The cost of these boosters is what the article is about. It says here the cost of the boosters from Northrop will be about $290 million. Now, it does not say if the contract is per set or per booster, this says each rocket booster. It's at a minimum $290 million per set, or at a maximum, almost $600 million just for the boosters. And remember, none of that is coming back, okay? The boosters are going in the ocean. The whales are gonna be using them for, for lawn darts. It goes on to talk about how a Falcon Heavy uh, costs about $152 million each. We'll say $160 million each. And you might say, okay, well, SLS is bigger than Falcon Heavy. So why are we comparing these two things? Well, Northrop is kind enough to boast about the, the power of each of their SLS rocket boosters, saying they produce 3.6 million pounds of thrust at takeoff, 
and that's about 14 four engine 747 airplanes at max power. That sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. However, a Falcon Heavy at liftoff has five million pounds of thrust. NASA could save a lot of money. It could save a lot of money by doing a ridiculous thing that will never happen, but it's fun to talk about. I'm sure you've heard of a, a program called Kerbal Space Program, okay? It's a physics-based game. Uh, people can build these crazy rockets and launch them in the air and see if they'll fly. It's not something that I ever got into. There's, it seems like a lot of physics and math involved, and I'm a designer. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't deal with numbers very well. NASA could save hundreds of millions of dollars and get a 40% more powerful rocket if it just took off those, those Northrop boosters and strapped on a couple Falcon Heavy rockets to the side of SLS and launched it like that. That would look ridiculous, okay? Um, if you have seen this online, I'm sure someone has done it. If you have a link to like a YouTube video or something where you've seen it or a picture, please comment below and uh, I would like to see that thing. So tell me what you think, okay? When do you think, it's funny that they even say when. When do you think that NASA or Congress is going to nix SLS, okay? Like, uh, give me a date. Give me, a, give me an event. I already, I already told you that I think as soon as SpaceX puts a Starship in orbit, there's going to be a lot of people talking about why they're spending so much money on SLS when the capability of Starship is better than SLS. Can't imagine NASA trying to fly this thing for 30 years. I can't imagine NASA flying this thing for 10 more years. Comment below and let me know what you think. The author of this particular article says that he has a, a very, he sees a very real risk saying that the Project Artemis is gonna be canceled. I think Artemis is going to live. I just think it's gonna be a different program. They're not gonna be using SLS which means they're not gonna be using the Orion capsule. The Orion capsule is NASA's also newest capsule. It's just basically an upgraded version of the Apollo capsule 70 years later, and we're still using capsules. It's unbelievable. He thinks that Project Artemis is gonna be canceled. I don't believe so. I think it'll just live on, and I think that Starship is going to be the main source and the main way of astronauts getting to the moon, but I don't know. Comment below and please tell me what you think. I just saw an article um, a couple days ago with the Babylonian B, the Babylon B, something like that. There was an uh, there was an interview with, with Elon Musk, and Musk said that that Starship is going to happen. You know, before they were they were they were really worried about about if it was even going to happen, but he said he's pretty confident now that Starship is actually going to happen. Can you imagine a giant moving rocket falling out of the sky and then being caught? by giant space chopsticks. It's gonna be freaking amazing and I cannot wait to see that. Imagine what we're gonna have in 10 years, assuming SpaceX keeps up what they're doing. We're gonna have more of that clunker in the next 10 years if NASA keeps up what they're doing, which is very, very sad. I have a change of mission from NASA, something that I think they should do, especially now that other rocket companies can build rockets, but I'm gonna save that for a different video, maybe the next video. I think that's all for me for right now. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, forward this video to your friends. This is Space Excellent.